I'm holding an air purifier. This is not an ad, this is simply a story about how I stumbled upon a solution to one of my most annoying kitchen problems, setting off the fire alarm. We've all been there, trying to cook ourselves a meal, maybe the family's asking for steaks. So we fire up the burners, we get a pan preheating on the stove, we know when we're making steaks, a good steak needs a good sear. So we know we gotta turn on the hood or the ventilation system, the exhaust. If you live in a house or an apartment with a proper ventilation system, it's pulling the smoke out of your house and outside. But if you're like me, you have like a microwave over your stove. And I don't know what this thing claims to be doing, but it's merely just sucking smoke from the stove through the top of the microwave. Maybe there's some sort of filter in there, but it doesn't do much. It still sets off the fire alarm. You turn it on regardless, you hope it does something, and you proceed to cook. So when the pan is hot, you slap those steaks into the pan and boom. You hear that sizzle, it tells you a great sear is underway. You're in the zone, you're locked in, you're trying to make yourself the perfect steak. And then it happens. The friggin' fire alarm goes off. It's shocking, it's startling, and it's just so <laughs> annoying. What's more annoying than one fire alarm going off is when that one triggers not two fire alarms, not three fire alarms, but four fire alarms that are all within five walking steps of each other. I don't know about you, but when it does happen, it frazzles me. It's sort of like when you get pulled over by a cop and you know you did nothing wrong, but you're still nervous about it anyway. It throws me completely off. Even for this video, as I intentionally set the fire alarm off, I couldn't even shut it off. The fire alarm is so powerful. Even when I knew I was gonna set it off, it still threw me into a panic. My fire alarms don't shut off until the smoke is cleared, so even when you try and hush it, if it thinks there's too much smoke, it doesn't hush. Which is a flaw in the design, if you're asking me. But what, what, but what do I know? You can't take the battery out or else it beeps. I've tried covering it with Ziploc bags, but it's a pain to keep it taped up there. It always falls out. I gotta get a stool out and climb up. It's no good. You could also open the windows, but especially when I'm shooting, I've got curtains down, I can't open the windows, they don't even open that much, and there's not a lot of wind flow because they're sort of, sort of far away from everything. The alarm's even gone off when I've just been simply roasting vegetables in the oven. It's incredibly sensitive. Every attempt I've made to outsmart this fire alarm had failed up until this point. Eventually though, I had ordered an air purifier for my bedroom, and I started cooking, a fire alarm went off, and I just had the idea, what if I just put the air purifier underneath the fire alarm? The air purifier is this Blue Air 211 Plus. What's unique about it is that it sucks air from the side and blows it up vertically. So by placing it under the fire alarm, not only is it kind of purifying the air and the smoke, but it's also blowing it and creating air circulation so it can't really settle below the fire alarm and set it off. And to my surprise, it worked. But it didn't just work, it worked really well. So now I'm gonna try to finish cooking that steak, but I'm gonna be using the air purifier. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna worry about how the steak is cooked. I'm really just gonna try and create as much smoke as possible to show you how effective this air purifier really is. So I'm sort of scorching the steak and creating a lot of smoke in this pan. I'm smoking out my entire apartment. Fire alarm is not going off. The air purifier is doing its job. I can sit here and enjoy my cooking experience without having to worry that I'm gonna be thrown into a fit of panic again. After seeing the amount of smoke that was in my apartment after this and to still not have to deal with the fire alarm, it's pretty amazing how effective it is. This air purifier is not cheap exactly, but I'm happy I spent the money on it because it turned out to have some multifunctional purpose. Now if you're interested in this purifier, I will leave a link for it. However, I don't think that this is the only one that would work. I think the design of it makes it unique to work well. So if you got an air purifier, why don't you give it a shot? Let me know if you try it. Tell me if it works for you. In my particular kitchen, with my particular ventilation system, it's actually pretty essential for me. It would have been an everyday nightmare, but thanks to this humble air purifier, I'm cooking without fear of setting off those mother friggin' fire alarms. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.